gang, how are you doing? Jonathan here for Tail Hunter Sport Fishing, and it's time once again for the Mexican Minute La Paz Video Fishing Report, coming to you from La Paz, Baja, Mexico, and covering all of the fishing action for our Tail Hunter Sport Fishing Fleet for the dates of the 18th through the 24th of August. 2022. Wherever you are, I hope you're doing well. Thank you so much for checking in and spending time with us. And please do us a big favor. Give us a thumbs up, a like, and don't forget to subscribe. Okay, let's jump right into it. But first, uh, let me give you a little caveat, a couple apologies. Number one, uh, apologies. My voice is a little cracky. I kind of lost my voice this week and I was going to wait to do the fishing report, but everybody's writing a lot of folks coming down and they want a quick report, so what the heck, I'm going to go ahead and do a report, so excuse me, I'm going to do the best I can with my squeaky voice. The other thing is apologies for the photos this week. You know, I usually have a ton of photos to show you on the regular fish report as well as on my Mexican Minute, but uh, technical problems, mainly me. I was a big problem. I put a bunch of these photos from this week on a little drive, and then I accidentally erase them so i do have some photos but i don't have all the photos for those of you who fish with us this week i do apologize i'm so sorry for not having your photos up i i just screwed up you know i had a brain fart whatever it is but i accidentally erased a bunch of the photos i've been doing this for almost 30 years almost every week and uh, i guess it was just one of my mess ups but apologies for that let's talk about what happened with the fishing another another great week of dorado solid dorado fishing for both our las arenas as well as our la paz fleets some of these fish uh they're running you know that we're having these little scooters five to ten pounders a lot of fun especially on light tackle but some bigger fish as well running 20 30 and even some 40 pounders although not many of the 40 pounders are getting to the boats yes they might bite but you know they're big for a reason because they're bigger they're tougher and if you don't have the experience to handle one of these or they're just big fish uh they're going to break or they're going to get off but most of the fish we're getting are that 10 to 10 pound size a lot of fun and then there's some smaller ones we call one taco size fish i mean some of them are are literally this big they're just as voracious as the other fish they will bite your hook they'll eat the baits and most of those fortunately are getting released but there's a lot of those little ones out there so uh, we do encourage you to release those, but a good solid Dorado bite. Almost everyone's getting limits or near limits. Uh, the fish are as close as, well, if you've been in La Paz, you know that uh, we've got those tankers sitting out there, and those are really only about a quarter mile offshore. There are fish under those. If you fish with our Las Arenas fleet out in Muertos Bay, there are fish right along the bay there. There are fish right along the beach. There's fish along the rocks of Point, uh, Punta Perico and over by the lighthouse. You don't have to go very far for some of these fish. We're also getting a couple marlin strikes, although none got boated this week, but these marlin are right in the middle of the schools of the Bonito, the Dorado. They're in there chomping away like a Pac-Man, and they're eating the bait, they're eating the little Dorado, they're eating the Bonito, and suddenly you've got a marlin on the hook. Not going to land it, or the chances of landing it aren't really, really good because you're fishing light line, you've got a small hook, but for at least a few seconds or a few minutes, it's a lot of fun, it's very exciting, and most folks don't want a marlin anyway, and they don't want to spend an hour or two fighting one of these, they'd like to catch some fish that they can put into their coolers or bring to our tail hunter restaurant to cook up, so uh, a lot of fun for just a short while, but then these marlin are breaking off. Other species we're getting... I'm sorry, we still aren't getting any tuna. We did have a, a two Wahoo hookups. None of those lasted, but we know the Wahoo are there. They could break loose at any time. We're certainly uh, delayed in seeing some of these Wahoo. And, you know, it could happen tomorrow. They'll suddenly decide to bite, and we'll hook up a bunch of Wahoo. So fingers crossed on that. We're getting Bonita. We're getting Pargo. We're getting Cabrilla. Uh, still getting some rooster fish. None of those big, giant, you know, 60, 70, 80 pounders. But that could be also because no one's putting in the time to chase those. And we do need the larger baits when we do go after the bigger rooster fish. But we're getting some fun 20, uh, 30 pound size at the largest. Right there in Muertos Bay, there are some fun little, you know, one and two pound uh, rooster fish, the little guys that got the little mohawks on their heads. Some of the guys bringing the light tackle in their bass rods or their trout spinning rods are having a really good time on those smaller fish. Anyway, that's going to be a quick wrap up. My voice is going on me. I apologize for that. I apologize that we don't have more photos, but there are a couple here. So stay tuned and I'm going to be uh, wrapping it up for the moment. I'm Jonathan for the Mexican Minute. You take care. Thanks for joining us. We'll catch you next week.